Hey my friends, what is up? Ultimus here, bringing you another video. Today, looking at the Unholy Death Knight, along with some 2v2 skirmishes going in the background. I wanted to talk about the Death Knight in pattern of what we've been doing with some of the other class we looked at and I expressed some serious interest in. We did Warriors for a bit. We talked about the Holy Paladin, and now we're going to talk about the Unholy Death Knight. Really, this video could be summed up in a couple seconds. They're great. Blizzard seems to think they're working as intended, and they're a ton of fun. Case closed. Enjoy the footage. No, but we're we're gonna talk about it a little bit more because in the video I was m messing around with a couple different specs. I was alternating between the three different choices for rune control talents and things of that sort. Wanted to see which ones I felt I had the most success with, but overall Death Knights are in a great spot. Frost, Unholy for PvP, they're great. Unholy still seems to be the better spec for arenas, though Frost does have its place, just good bursty hits. Definitely a lot of fun in Battlegrounds, and if you got a healer that's willing to continually QD, I could see how Frost would work out. But Unholy, just between the control, the dots that will get out of control pretty quickly, the pets, things like that, the utility that you bring to the table as an Unholy Death Knight still, I find, is superior to Frost. As you can see, I mean, in a couple of these matches, uh, specifically the ones against the Rogue and the Feral Druid, just the control that I was able to have over the match, and the majority of it at least, between the Asphyxiates and the Death Grips and the Chains of Ice on those on those two players as they were trying to get on my Priest there. Not pro plays, obviously, I know that could have been polished a lot better, but just on a base level, what the Death Knight is capable of and the damage it's able to keep on the target while keeping them off your friends is just amazing. I feel like it's second to no other class. That being said, as Unholy, you're still not going to see massive crits like you would in Frost, but again, just between the dots and now with your uh, level 100 talent and how they scale higher and higher and jump around as they do more damage, it just gets quite crazy. The only thing I feel like I miss the most about Unholy Death Knights, and I know it's just a playstyle adjustment, is Necrotic Strike. Necrotic Strike was great for shutting down healers and healer comps, keeping them from being able to recover once you get them pretty low, but the Death Knight still functions just fine without it. All in all, they still function well, the rotation doesn't feel clunky. The biggest struggle still with Death Knights, though, is just learning to get the runic power system and the runes down to a science, managing that properly. And then, of course, just the downtime between Frost and Unholy. Both suffer pretty high from it. Uh, at this state of the game, the downtime is pretty intense. You'll go through bursts where you're doing tons of stuff, and then you're kind of just sitting around waiting for stuff to come back up. That's the only real drag with Unholy Death Knights I've, I'm finding, is just that the downtime. I'm still finding that my talents of choice are Plague Bearer, Lichborn, or Anti-Magic Zone, Asphyxiate, Runic Corruption, or Blood Tap, Conversion or Death Pack, though leaning strongly towards Conversion, Desecrated Ground, and Necrotic Plague. The Plague Bearer and Necrotic Plague work so well together. So yeah, that's pretty much going to do it. Really, Death Knights are great. Looking at the patch notes that are just coming out today, all the other buffs and nerfs that are coming to some of the other classes, and yet Death Knights remain unchanged. Not one note on them, so that seems to tell me that Blizzard seems to think they are working as intended. And so expect to see Death Knights going live based on what's functioning right now in the beta. I don't know. As for me, they're a fun alt to have. It's a fun change of play style for my warrior, so I'm definitely looking forward to playing my Unholy Death Knight come or Loves of Draenor once it hits live. But that's going to do it for me. If you enjoyed the video, hit it with a like. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. We are more than halfway, well on our way to our 100 sub goal for the month of October, which I think is awesome. You guys are rocking it. I appreciate it so much. Thank you so very much. So yeah, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.